When dealing with a large quantity of items in your inventory, it can be tedious and time consuming to assign all the details for each item. Setting up item groups in SAP Business One is a great way to reduce the amount of information you need to enter on a per item basis. By creating different item groups, you can automatically assign specific item master information to items with similar characteristics simply by assigning the group to that item, thus speeding up the process of entering in the information on the items in the item master. This also gives you the ability to run sales, purchasing, and inventory reports by item group, making it easier to view reports on similar items. To create an item group, go to Administration, Setup, Inventory, and then Item Groups. This will display the item group setup window already in ad mode. At the top of the window is where you can enter the name of the item group you want to create. Note that in version 9 of SAP Business One, you can only enter in an item group name with a maximum character limit of 20. In version 10 of SAP Business One, you can now enter a name with up to 100 characters. Beginning with the general tab is where you enter in the information about the item group. These are the default settings for items assigned to the particular item group. However, you do have the ability to change these fields on the item master if needed. The default unit of measure group field will allow you to select a unit of measure group for the items assigned to the group. If you do choose to select a default unit of measure, a new field titled default inventory unit of measure will appear. In this field, you can select the default unit of measure that will be assigned to the items in the inventory data tab. For example, we selected the default unit of measure group to be each, and we can be more specific by clarifying that each inventory unit of measure will be a case. The planning method field is where you can select from the drop down menu if you want the items to be tied into the MRP planning function or not. This field must be set to MRP if you plan to use the items assigned to this group either in the standard SAP MRP or LBSI's Advanced Manufacturing and Material Planning Enhancement. Following that is the Procurement Method field, which will allow you to choose whether the items are bought or made within the company. If you select the Make option, then the Component Warehouse field will appear below the Procurement Method field. Here you can select if the items are located in the Component Warehouse defined in the Bill of Materials or the Parent Items Warehouse. Next, under the Order Interval field, is where you can enter an interval that is defined in the order interval setup window. This is an optional field that provides visibility when using the standard SAP MRP function or LBSI's Advanced Manufacturing and Material Planning Enhancement. The Order Multiple field allows you to enter the desired multiple you want to order the items in for each order of the item. If you have a set number you must at least order when purchasing more inventory, you can define it under the Minimum Order Quantity field. The lead time field gives you the option to enter the number of days it generally takes from ordering a product to the time when the product arrives or is produced. Tolerance days is where you can enter the number of days you can wait from when the product is supposed to be received. We recommend that the tolerance day field is always set to zero. The default valuation method field gives you the option to choose if you want your items to be calculated using the moving average, standard, or FIFO method when determining the inventory's value. Finally, at the bottom of the window is where you can assign a default bin location for warehouses that have bin locations enabled in the warehouse setup window. The default bin location, if used, is usually set at the item level and can be left blank unless a user wants all items within the item group to be transacted in the same bin location. The Enforce Default Bin Location checkbox will be available to select once a default bin location has been assigned to the warehouse. This will make it so any new items that arrive and are assigned to the item group must be put in the designated bin location. Under the Accounting tab, you can assign the default GL accounts that will automatically be assigned to the items in the group. The Accounting tab should be set up with assistance from an LBSI project manager to ensure the correct GL accounts will be used when documents are posted. Note that these accounts will only be used if the GL method is set by item group in the item master. Once you have all the information in for your item group, you can add it by clicking the add button at the bottom of the window. Creating item groups within SAP Business One is a helpful way of grouping multiple items that have similar characteristics together 
as well as simplifying the process of entering new items in the future. Join us as we help you learn more about what SAP Business One has to offer by clicking the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you never miss a new video. As an SAP Gold Partner, LBSI can help you take full advantage of everything the system has to offer. To get in contact with us, visit our website at www.lbsi.com and navigate to the contact link. You can also email us at sales at lbsi.com for sales related inquiries or SAP support at lbsi.com if you're an existing client in need of support assistance.